This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. On a clear day. <laughs> My mom plays all kinds of funny games with me. Um, anything to get me to smile, she'll do. Cher's personality is awesome. She's a lot of fun. She cracks you up. My mom and I do laugh a lot together when it's good. Don't pull her. I'm not doing nothing. He's not moving. Just walk with her. Just stop this right now. Four times I've been reprimanded. I think that's pathetic. For a long time, she was my best friend. But she's not my best friend anymore. My mom is an alcoholic. Mm. I want to get drunk. I love vodka. I can't drink wine, can't drink beer. Vodka works with me. <laughs> Man, she gets sloshed on vodka. Whew. I want to drink, drink. I couldn't tell you the last time I saw my mom without a bottle in her purse. She cannot function without it. I got to have my juice. When she drinks, Cher is really needy emotionally. It's about me. It's all about me. My mom always wants the attention on her. Whether it's crying or telling a story, she'll do what it takes for someone to notice her. I cry because I feel. And she's constantly needing affirmation and emotional support, kind of like a bottomless pit. Just can't never give her enough. I'm the victim, don't you get it? Because of the drinking, Cher believes that she is a martyr. I mean, it woes me all the time. Oh, it's about me fixing everybody's issues. For two hours, you could tell her how amazing she was, but it would never be enough. <laughs> Along with the alcohol, she takes prescription pills. I like your brain the way it was, and it changes with drugs, and I don't like that part. I have to take a lot of drugs for my back injury. Mixing the pills with the alcohol destroys her. <laughs> with the booze and drugs, Sherry has different personalities. Walk this way. <laughs> you could get someone totally fun and happy. Walk, walk. And then she has another persona that's violent and really mean. She can become very, very angry. Did you tell me you called my sister? I didn't call her today. Just tell me the day and the time. It's pretty simple. Her eyes go dead like a shark, and she just becomes really cruel. Take a breath, go in there, and think about what I just said. You just never know what you're going to get with my mom. Now, when I look into my mom's eyes, I see pain. I don't even recognize her. As a baby, Sherry was adorable. She was always very loving and seemed to need a lot of attention and wanted people to show that they loved her. Sherry was a bit more needy because she was looking to get some emotional things met that were not met in the family. My mom tells me that her parents never wanted kids. Our mom was always busy cleaning, doing chores. Instead of a mom, she was more like a drill sergeant. She was unavailable emotionally. There was no love, there was no touching, there was no feeling, there was no nothing. When I said, I love you, she pushed me. She always said, crying's for pussies. That's my mom. He started to use violence to just stop us from questioning or challenging him. I think a lot of his anger came that he didn't have a son, and then he took it out on all of us girls and, and beat the crap out of us. And it was so wrong. He used to hit me like a man, <sighs> throw me against the wall. I would have my friend sitting there, and he walks in and says, get out of the room. And before they could get out of the room, my pants were pulled all the way down. And 
there went the bell. I said, what did I do wrong? Don't ever ask why, he says. I wanted him to, like, acknowledge me and say, I love you, or touch me, hug me. But you know what? I'd rather get hit than to be neglected. I don't think my mom ever got a message of love from her parents. Freshman year in high school, she said that she would throw parties. That was my way of having more family. Cher was very popular in high school. Everybody loved her. She was friends with a lot of people because she was very energetic. They'd give me affection. And that was so amazing. It's so ironic, because we came from a family that didn't talk, didn't share, and didn't touch. She was very affectionate with her baby, loving. Cherry was a great mom. I think that she really finally did feel loved by someone for the first time. I made sure she would never go through what I went through, because it's so important to not let your children go through the things that hurt you. So important. When my mom died, she crashed and burned. My mom has just carried her childhood feelings into her adulthood. That just gets really draining and annoying. She still yearns for acknowledgement that she loves people and that no one loves her. I forgot my ring. You hold my girl. Oh, oh congratulations! <laughs> How cool is oh, that? That is so cool. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> so you're gonna get the black. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. You think this is just for ten? <laughs> How could you Where not you? tell me? Stop. What are you I'm do? your mom. Oh my god, I need a breather. I'm so happy, I'm so pissed. <laughs> I want my mom to accept Brandon. I want my mom to be happy for me that he loves me. Please take this gift and go to treatment today. You deserve the opportunity to be happy and healthy. I miss my mom, my mommy, and I want a wonderful relationship with you. I do. Are you done? I need time with the, them. Five, five minutes. Okay. For the love of God, I'll, just, I'll, I'll do it for my family. That's my girl. <laughs> That's, my... That's my girl. I've been sober 92 days and counting, and I'm feeling amazed and focused on life. Thank <laughs> you.